Okay. Now All go. right. Sorry about that. Um, he is a professional psychic medium and energy worker in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, Dustin is the lead psychic medium with the, um, how do you pronounce that, Dustin? Uh, Miss Shanna Paranormal Investigations. Okay. A scientifically certified medium with the Forever Family Foundation, which is another uh, grief group for moms. And he has studied at the Arthur Finley College for Psychic Science and Mediumship, which I know that is the college to learn mediumship from. And that's in uh, London. Dustin is also a PhD student in counselor education and supervision, a comparative religion scholar, and a ballroom dancer performing <laughs> for Dancing with the Stars. It sounds like somebody else every time I hear that. <laughs> like, that's not me. <laughs> anyway, he is a certified medium through Family Forever Family Foundation because they do certify them in that group. So Dustin, you want to tell us a little bit about how you want to run this and what needs to be done? Yeah, so um, so I, am I on? You guys aren't um, going to do a little plug or anything. I always like to invite people to kind of talk about themselves or the group a little bit. Sure, this, this group is Voice of Our Angels and we are an online support group for bereaved parents, parents of child loss, and we are parents helping parents, basically. And we do that through companionship, mediumship, and support of one another. I love that. Oh, and we do have a website. We do have a website, um, www.voiceofourangels.com, if they'd like to check out more information. But I think most of these are our members, and they know. OK, perfect. Well, I love the way that this group sounds. I'm so excited to be here. So thanks for having me, uh, Anne-Marie and Doris, and everybody present. Uh, my name is Dustin Livers, and uh, I'm actually the youngest um, certified medium with the Forever Family Foundation. So I'm the baby. <laughs> um, I've been a member for, I think I passed the test when I was 20 years old. So I have been in there for um, seven, eight years now. I can't believe it's been that long. And I've been a practicing medium since I was 19. So I always credit my uh, ability to connect with my mentors and for uh, my incredible relationship with spirit. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, uh, apparently it was in the cards to be a medium in this lifetime. <laughs> I have no idea why. Uh, it's been an exciting journey, but it's also been a challenging journey. Um, so most mediums, I'm sure, will tell you that it's a double-edged sword. There's positives and there's also challenges that come with being a medium. So um, today you're going to be seeing real uh, mediumship. So nobody here is a paid actor. <laughs> I don't have money for that. I can't afford anybody to be a paid actor. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll see you yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure you all know each other anyway. Um, so uh, you're going to be seeing real, real readings. So some of them can be very emotional at times. Uh, some can be very funny. You'll probably be seeing a large range of emotion tonight. Um, it's been an incredible journey uh, being able to do this work, um, especially in the Forever Family Foundation. I know that uh, a few, we have a few very famous mediums. So uh, Teresa Caputo was with us for over 10 years, and then I think she left about two years ago. Um, John Holland has joined us, I think maybe last year he joined us. Kim Russo on The Haunting Of has been with us for a very long time, over 10 years. And my personal friend, Laura Lynn Jackson, whose book, The Light Between Us, is at every Barnes and Noble in the world. Um, so I, I can text her up any time and I'm like, hey, Laura. And I'm like, I feel like I'm calling a celebrity or something. <laughs> you know, it's exciting to be able to, to just call her up like that. Um, Michigan Paranormal Investigations is also a wonderful organization. We're a nonprofit uh, organization. All of our services are entirely free. We do have a waiting list. Um, and so if anyone is in the Midwest, uh, particularly Indiana or Michigan, um, and you believe that there's a business or a location uh, that is experiencing a haunting, and uh, you'd like to do something about that, our team does go out there um, and we do do uh, cleansings and we also do um, a full-on investigation. So we meet with whoever it is 
and talk about what's going on there. Um, in these times of COVID, it's been interesting because um, we have done uh, online investigations. <laughs> so that's been interesting, like holding up the tablet and like looking through and, you know, <laughs> that's, that's exciting. It's a whole new uh, experience to this work. I never thought that would be happening, <laughs> but here we are. Um, and I've just been able to start doing group readings in person again. That has been just such a rewarding experience. You never realize the things you take for granted until something like this happens. You know, just being able to hug people. Typically, I hug whoever my sitter is at the end and uh, wish them well as they move forward with their life. Um, but that's something that I've really been missing and I've been able to, to do again. So um, that's a little bit about me. Uh, so I'm going to be channeling tonight. Um, typically, I channel for about uh, an hour and a half, roughly. And then I do want to end and give people a chance to do a bit of question and answer at the end. Um, so Anne Marie or Doris, if one of you could maybe be timekeeper and let me know uh, no later than 9.45. Um, Cause then when I'm channeling, I don't always tend to be aware of the time. Sure. <laughs> I had spaces in a different, different place. Um, and then uh, I am okay. If um, you know people are kind of coming in and out, you're not going to offend me. So if you need to go to the bathroom, um, that's okay. If <laughs> you do not have to like, you know, suffer through this, um, that is okay. If, if, and you can eat too. That's that's fine. I'm not going to be offended. So um, that's that's just a little bit about the process. And then of course, please do stay muted, um, and then raise your hand if you believe that the spirit um, is for you. And then we can. Uh, sort that out. So all right, um, I'm pretty much ready to go here. So give me a second here to connect and then we can get started. Okay, awesome. Doris, if you would put your um, computer on gallery view, I can watch page one and you can watch page two or opposite that way. It's I see everybody. How's that possible? I only because know. I have a really, really big computer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, since you have the big computer <laughs> i'll let you watch for people doing this okay <laughs> i can see everybody oh awesome thanks okay i don't know how she's doing that either i don't <laughs> i've never been able to see everybody yeah i see everybody <clears throat> i have two i actually have two empty spots if anybody else is going to come in okay, then. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. all right Um, all right, I feel, um, I feel um, a younger male stepping forward here. Um, let's see. Um, I feel a couple things with him. Um, one, I feel a very big smile on my face. I know that this younger male was very, very positive. Um, I would, you would always remember him with a smile on his face. I do feel there was a lot of energy with him. He shows me him just kind of running around. I always see him like running. There's a lot of energy with this younger male. And I also feel, unfortunately, he's putting pressure in my head area, which is my symbol that he would have passed him something that would have happened to like the head or the brain. I don't know if there was like a head trauma or like something like hit him. I feel something would have happened with like the head or like his brain. I also feel this feels like, um, I do feel like this would be more of a son to me. So I have like some kind of son, either like biological or like a son relationship. Um, that has departed. I also know there was um, this younger male. There was also a connection. Um, I want to talk about, I believe there was a connection with a skateboard. I don't know if he liked skateboarding or someone has like a skateboard in memory of him. I know that there's like a skateboard that's also connected with him. I don't know if he used to like do this or like somebody kept this, but I know that I'm feeling all of this with the same spirit. 
So does this make sense with anyone? I feel like this should all connect with the same younger male here. This feels like more of a sun connection to me. How young are you thinking, Dustin? Uh, this feels pretty young. Like I would say like a child, maybe early teen. I wouldn't say an older teen. Okay. I don't know if anyone's raising their hand. I feel like this is more of a younger male. Who is? Denise. Oh, Denise, can you unmute yourself? I can't. Here, let me unmute her. Denise. I don't see Denise. Okay, Denise, I'm asking you to unmute. You're, yeah, you're still muted. Oh, there we go. I accidentally pushed it twice. <laughs> okay, Denise, you can understand this. Uh, yeah. Yes, um, my son, he had a skateboard that he was always trying to learn how to ride on. Um, I've had other mediums talking about the pressure in his head and one of the causes for his, his passing. So that does make a little sense. Um, but he was only nine years old, so I wasn't sure if that's too young. No, this is young. This, this is not a teenager. This would be under teen. So nine would fit that description. So well, it looks this, like it looks like Kim also can take it. Okay. Kim Fortune. Let me work with this young. Okay. Let me work with him a little bit more. Let's see here. This feels like a pretty close connection too. However, I know that he also, um, this young boy also had a little bit of anger in him. I know that he used to get irritated at times. There was a bit of anger. I feel like he would have. Uh, I don't know if I want to say tantrums, but I feel he would get irritated at times. But most of the time, he was pretty happy. But there was some anger inside this young young boy. So I don't know my if that son, separates them. Yeah, my son was usually happy unless he was yelling at his video games. <laughs> <laughs> OK, who is the other one? I might be with the other one. Um, Kim says, not me then, because her son was older. Uh, no, 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 no. This one's young. I might be with you, Denise. Let me work with him a little bit more because I do feel some, there's some irritability with this young know, but most of the time he presents himself as very happy. And he was always smiling, always smiling. Lots of energy. There's, um, let's see. I want to talk about a connection to a pool. I don't know if there was some kind of like pool or like a pool party or something. I want to talk about like some memory with a pool. Do you know about the pool? Uh, we have several memories with the pools. He loved pools. He was a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm with you, Denise. I think I'm with you. Let me work with him a little bit. Let's see. I want to talk about Uh, I also, he shows me writing. I don't know if you've written about him or you like write. I feel like this is something that's happened after his passing. I don't know if you've like written about him or you like write. Uh, he shows me a connection with writing. Yeah, I write down all of his signs, I see. You have like a, oh, that's like a diary, almost like a signed diary, like written. Yes. Mm -hmm. He wants me to validate about this. So I hope you know that he sees you doing that. This is a pretty close connection. I mean, I feel like you two were pretty close. There's also, let's see, I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about a male to my side. I don't know if there's a brother. Is there another son? I feel a male to my side. No, he was my only child. Um, I mean, I did have a miscarriage prior to him. Okay. Do you know the sex of that child that's departed, the other one? No, but I was told it was a male by another medium before. I feel like he's telling you that he has his brother with him. Because I do feel that there's a brother here. So I hope you know that the two of them are together. I also feel I want to talk about um, 
I usually don't see this, but he's telling me there was a strong connection with a candle. I don't know if there was like a candle surface in his memory or there was like a candle that was like lit in his memory. I'm very aware of a candle. I would light a candle every day for him. For him. He says that he saw that. He says that he's with you in those moments. There's a strong connection to like a candle, some kind of ritual with a candle. There's, um, I also want to talk about, I don't know if I'm still with you or if I'm shifting. I might be shifting. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm with you or if I'm shifting, but I'm hearing the name Bob or Bobby very clearly. I don't know if there's a Bob or Bobby connected with him. There's no Bob or Bobby. Not anyone in spirit anyway. Oh, <clears throat> uh, well, that's okay. It doesn't need to be someone who's passed. Is there like a Bob or Bobby that's like connected with him though? That's like here. I, that would be, I feel like it's connected with my biological dad. Okay, is he still here? Mm -hmm. Okay, I actually feel your son talking about your father. So let me look into this a little bit here. I'm kind of interested to see what he has to say. Um, I actually feel, um, and this is a safe space. So, you know, Denise, if, if I'm sure I, that's right. Is that right, Anne-Marie? This is a safe yes. space? Yes. Okay. If, and if, you know, you don't have to answer everything to every detail, okay? But I actually feel the father, he's telling me I feel a bit of a complicated relationship between you and him. I feel kind of a back and forth. It doesn't feel super solid to me. It feels kind of a back and forth. However, I'm not allowed to diagnose or give medical advice, but I feel him telling me that there's some kind of medical issue with your biological father. And I don't know if you would know that or not, but I feel that there's something happening with him and it feels like something, unfortunately, that could be a little more serious. So I don't know if, are you like in contact with him at all or do you know anything about him? And I, I'm in contact with his wife, um, but I know he's been like in and out of the hospital for several different reasons. So I'm not, it's totally unethical of me to say when someone is going to pass, I don't do that. People ask me and I never do that. But I feel that your son is actually coming forward to tell you that you might want to get in contact with him. Because this feels like something quite serious. Okay. Um, I also feel, let me see here. I want to talk about, um, let me see. Uh, I don't know if I'm still with him or if I'm shifting. I feel there's, um, oh, I think I'm still with him. He also says that he's connected with you in a dream. Have you like seen him like in like a dream or something? I feel that there was a dream. Yeah, I did the other night. Okay, he wants me to validate that that was a visitation. So I hope you know that he was with you at that time. I do feel that this was a strong visitation. And um, let me see. I also feel, um, he says, uh, I believe that there's there's a white dog or a dog with white on it that's also connected with him. Where does the white dog or the dog with white on it come in that he's connected with? 
Um, I had a dog in my childhood named Prissy, who was uh, white. Okay. <laughs> I feel like he's with this dog. <laughs> So I don't know if you were pretty close with Prissy, but I feel this dog. <laughs> <laughs> he says that he's got the dog. I actually see him chasing this dog. <laughs> I feel like he's running after this dog right now. There's a connection here. But I'm going to tell you, Denise, that your son, is, this is a pretty strong connection. And um, I'm sorry about your father, too. I'm very sorry about this. Thank you. But I hope you know that your son is with you and sees what's happening. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I do feel like I'm shifting here. Let me see. I think I'm shifting. Um, okay. I believe I actually have. Uh, my younger female stepping forward. Let's see here. Um, let me see. This one, um, I would also say, is pretty positive. Um, This one feels, unfortunately, I would say very young. I feel like this is a very young um, daughter that's departed. I would say a very, very young, like I would say like five or under. Um, there's, let's see here. I also feel she had trouble with eating. Something like, I don't know if she couldn't eat certain foods or like if, I don't know what, if she had like a medical thing with eating where she just couldn't eat very well. There's something strange about her eating. And um, I also feel, um, I hate to be so blunt about this, but I feel that um she's telling me there was a lot of i want to say family conflict at the time that she was alive i feel like the living situation wasn't like ideal there was like some some family kind of drama or like conflict she's telling me it wasn't always super positive where she was living at the time um and i feel um, I also feel, I believe something happened with her chest. I don't know if she had like a hard time like breathing or like the heart or like the lungs. Something happened with her chest area with her departure. But I feel all of these things should be connecting with the same younger female. This feels like more like a daughter or like a some kind of daughter figure to you. Like, but I feel definitely like five or under five, this is like a younger, something with the eating, the chest, and a lot of family conflicts, some kind of family drama and things happening around her. But all of this should fit with the same person. I'm not sure who I'm with. Does this make sense to anybody? It should connect with someone. I feel all of this with the same person. Definitely be female five or under, I would feel very, very young. Something with her eating. Let's see. Yeah, something happening with her. Let's see. I feel something. I feel like she passed on something with the chest, like the heart or the lungs. I feel I don't know if she couldn't breathe, something with the breathing. I feel like it's more with the breathing. Um, Doesn't have to be I a don't... daughter, maybe someone's granddaughter, a friend's. It daughter. could be granddaughter, yes. I would accept daughter or daughter like figure, like if you would have been some kind of mom figure to this okay. younger female, I would accept that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this should be connecting all with the same person. 
I also feel, I believe there was a family separation with her. I don't know if like she was like moved somewhere or like the family like split. I feel like there was some kind of family separation also that she's talking about. I'm not sure where this comes in, but this is definitely a very, very young female. I would say like five or under, very young. Let's see. But yeah, there's a family split or separation. Let's see. I see someone trying to speak. I don't know if that's Nancy's iPad. I don't know if she's speaking. I see her talking. Oh, she's saying no. <laughs> no, this should be connecting with the same person. And let's see. I feel, let me see here. Uh, let's see. I also feel. Uh, I believe I want to talk about, um, I also believe that there's something about, I also feel a brother with her, this female that's departed. But I don't know if this is a brother that she would have met. I actually think there was another child after she has passed. But I don't know if she actually met this brother. This is really interesting. I've never had a spirit tell me this before. But I mean, this is pretty specific. Somebody should know something about this. I mean, that's pretty specific. I'm wondering if it's a case like we had talked about earlier, maybe one of the other children in the group who's come and the parent isn't here. Not sure. But I mean, this is, I'm feeling her pretty strongly. She's definitely five or under. Something with her eating passed from the chest. See, this feels like a daughter, like a daughter figure to me. Let's see. I'm not sure who this is. If nobody can claim her, I'm gonna set her to the side. But if somebody knows about this, please let me know because I feel her stepping forward pretty strongly. But if nobody's claiming her, then I there's not anything more I can do with her. So I'm going to have to set her to the side. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay. All right. I think I'm shifting here. Okay, I have another male stepping forward. <clears throat> um, this one is not super young. Young, but not, I wouldn't, not a child. Um, this one, uh, unfortunately, I actually feel some kind of substance use with this younger male that's departed. I feel like there was either, um, I feel like there's a connection 
with um, some kind of I actually see several different drugs. I don't think it was just one. I also feel um, there was unfortunately some kind of mental health issue that was happening with him. I don't know if he had like depression or like anxiety. I'm seeing some kind of mental health thing happening with him. I feel like the drugs might have been a way for him to try to kind of cope with this. That's um, but I see these. That's, that's who. Me. That's my son. Who's um, talking? I don't know who's we've talking. Got, uh, her name's Marlene. Actually, you can, I allowed you to be able to pin, Justin. It's Marlene. It could be me, too. It could oh, okay. be Karen. Yeah. Okay, so it's up to you, Justin, who you want to okay. go with here. Let me work with him a little oh, bit here. And we have Mona and we have Terry raising their hand. There's four. Okay. Let me work with this a little bit here. Um, let me see. I do feel, um, this feels like, I feel a close connection with him at one point in time, but then I feel that he was someone, unfortunately, who was kind of pushing you away. I feel like he w didn't want people kind of close to him. I feel I'm actually saying he was pushing you away. So I don't know if that helps to like separate them. But I feel him telling me that this unfortunately was something that he was doing when he was alive. So that looks like Karen and Rosemary say that. Okay. Let me work with him a little bit more. And not Marlene. Marlene says okay. no. This was unfortunately he was he was definitely trying to push people away. Um, I also feel I'm going to be kind of as um, as descriptive as possible, I feel that there are still questions surrounding his passing. I feel like it's not super clear, like people still wonder what actually happened. I see my symbol like for black fog, which is my symbol for like a mystery or still questions surrounding the passing. So I don't know if that fits with one more than the other. I see someone raising their hand. Is that Mona? Okay, Mona, could you unmute yourself? <clears throat> Mona has her hand raised. Um, yeah, Mona, can, are you able to speak? Could you please unmute yourself? Oh, I don't think she can. Oh, yeah. Hi, She's Mona, unmuted. can you hear me? I can, uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Um, I do feel this spirit coming forward here. I do feel that the two of you were pretty close, though. I mean, this feels like a pretty close connection. We were close. Okay. But he pushed a lot of other people away. But I wouldn't let him put, push me away. <laughs> I yeah. do want to talk about... <laughs> okay. I do want to talk about... Um, I see him showing me uh, a female love interest. I believe that she's still alive. Do you know if he was like with somebody or they were like, he was like talking with a, a female? I feel a romantic connection. That's some, that's part of the mystery that I'm trying to figure out. Uh, somebody, somebody just called me two days ago. Um, it was a, a mother to somebody that was trying to explain something to me. So I took that information to a detective, but something with this girl so you mean the detectives or something think that there's a female that's connected with his passing or something they're trying or to figure it out but somebody hmm. told me that a female gave him some some drugs that caused his passing somebody just told me that i'm not positive uh, and then there also he was i believe he wasn't alone when he passed um pretty positive that he wasn't alone uh, but um, and, and they left him okay let me work with him a little bit here because I do feel that there is a female romantic partner somebody he was involved with um, and she's still alive and I do feel unfortunately I do feel a pretty strong connection with what you're saying I do believe 
that this woman was somehow connected with the drugs. So I don't know, you know, obviously the detectives are still looking into this, but I yeah. actually feel a pretty strong connection with what you're saying. He's making me feel pretty strongly about this. Okay. Um, I do want to talk about uh, I feel like there's something shady about the way that he died. I just feel like it was, there's something off about it. Like, I don't feel it was like just a party situation. I feel that there's more to this story. There's something a little kind of malicious. I just feel like there's just something off. It doesn't feel like everybody was there to just have a good time. I feel like there was something something shady happening. And I don't I can't quite put my finger on this, but there's something that's worth investigating here. So I do hope you know that the family, I would, they, there's something worth investigating here. And I do see the family continuing with the investigation. I don't see them stopping. So are you like in contact with the family at all? Or do you know them or? Anthony's my son. Okay. Are you guys still, you're, you're moving forward with this, you know, I, I mean, you're continuing the investigation mm -hmm. and everything. Because yeah. he's telling me that this I will continue. I keep bugging the detectives. Okay. Yep. I do feel that there's going to be something that comes out of this. So I do hope you know that there, there is going to be something that does come out of this. I think so, too. I also feel um, he wants me to validate about a tattoo. So is there like a tattoo in memory of him or does someone have like a tattoo of him or something? Well, um, I have a gift certificate um, for a tattoo that I gave him for his birthday <laughs> last year oh. and he hadn't gotten it because of COVID. And so it's on my desk and every day I look at it, I don't have any tattoos and I'm scared to get tattoos, but every day I look <laughs> at it and say, I'm going to get a tattoo because it expires on July the 12th. So. Uh. I feel like you're going to be getting a tattoo in connection with him. Okay. He says he wants to let you know about it. I have a tattoo. I have one on my back. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, gosh. I don't know if it's, like, covered. It might be covered. I don't know if the camera. Yeah, I can't see it. That to you. But I promise you that it's not that bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but he does say that he knows about this. Okay. I also want to That's talk about... Uh, I believe there's another male connected with him. Who is the male with the CH name connected with him? Like Chris or something or like Chad? I see CH. It shows me CH and I see a male. Um, um, could it be Jacob? Jacob. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, I'm sorry. That's, that's not a CH. <laughs> uh, CH. No, I think it's like uh, like Chris or like Chad or like Charlie. It's CH. I know it starts with a CH. Okay. Um, uh, my best friend, um, she had um, uh, uh, her boyfriend passed away about two oh. weeks, a week and a half, two weeks ago less than two weeks ago. Um, oh my I, God. Hadn't, I hadn't met him yet, and, um, but my son didn't know him, but she's been telling me that they're together, you know? <laughs> what's, what's his name? Do you know his name? I, I think his name is Chris. I, I'm like, I've drawn a blank. Uh, I'm, it's Chris. Um, that's the only person I could think of. That's, I can't think that of his would last be a name. Chris. Yeah, that would, yeah. That would be. He would be. I uh, do feel this man <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah, he's also here. You say he just died like two weeks ago? It, it's less than two weeks ago. I think they, gosh, I'm trying to, yeah, it's it's been less than two weeks. Okay. I do feel this man is also here. And I feel um, 
Did you? I don't know how much you know about him, but this fan has a sense of humor. He He's ha- funny. He he had a really good sense of humor. She would send me uh, memes that he had sent her. And they were just <laughs> so hilarious. Um, he's about 43. Okay. He is that, here. This guy is pretty funny. And I also really feel, um, wow. unfortunately, I also feel something happened. Uh, I feel him bringing my attention to my chest with like the harder lungs. But I also feel he had some kind of medical issue that was also affecting other areas. But he also pr- primarily makes me feel my chest. So do you know how he actually died? Um, they said he had a heart attack. Okay. I also feel he had something else. Do you know if he had like an underlying condition or something? Something I don't, also I affecting know. Another? You're gonna have to ask your friend. Okay. But I do feel um, he says to tell her that there wasn't any pain. I feel like she wonders if he had pain or like what was happening with him. I feel like whatever, like the chest, the heart attack came out of the blue. I don't feel like there were really a lot of signs. Yes, she had actually just been talking to him minutes before. Yes, there wasn't any signs. Like he didn't have, you know what I'm saying? Like some people have like the numbness in the arm or whatever. There were no signs. I mean, he's telling me it was like, I just died. I think they talked on the phone. Yeah. They so talked on I the phone, you know, and she didn't hear from him for like a day or two. And she thought it was strange, and then um, they weren't super serious or anything. So she didn't want to bug him, I guess. And then she then she found out. So I hope you know. Can you let your friend know that he is here? I do okay. feel him, okay. and I do feel. Uh, <laughs> Oh, God. I can't believe you would tell me something like this. Um, I'm going to be kind of blunt about this. This is so weird. She just called me. (laughs) I just declined her call. Oh, my God. Yeah, she just beat the end. That's so crazy. I do feel, uh, oh, she's calling again. (laughs) Yep, she is. That's weird. She knows, dude. She's feeling the energy. She has no idea I'm doing this. I hadn't told her. That's Uh, funny. I love how the spirit will do this. They will take advantage but um, I, I'm going to be kind of blunt about this. He does say that he had a hard time with commitment issues. Okay. I feel like okay. he, it's a personal challenge that he had. He had some commitment problems. Okay. Um, I shouldn't be laughing about this, but, but I think it's humorous. You would tell me something like this. But I do feel I'm wanting to tell your friend he's taking responsibility for this. Okay. That he okay. had some commitment problems. Okay. I do feel that he did want to move forward with her. There was an internal feeling here. He had feelings for her, but he had his own kind of things going on. Okay. You're gonna have to let your friend know about this, okay? Okay. He also says, uh, he says she's doing something with cologne or perfume. I don't know if your friend is like trying some kind of new perfume or she's trying to buy. You're going to have to call her and ask her. Okay. Ask her about the perfume or something. She's doing something with perfume. Okay. <laughs> but, sure. um, but Mona, I do hope you know that your son is here. And, and there's also this gentleman, your, your best friend's partner or something or boyfriend. Yeah, they had, uh, they knew each other when they were younger. Um, and he always had a big crush for her, um, but they never did date. And then I think they've been talking since November, uh, but it wasn't super serious, but she's taken his death pretty hard. Um, okay. Well, please let your friend know about this. So you, you can take the call. I do feel like I'm shifting, um, but okay. ask about the perfume and let me know what it is. I'm curious to know okay. what the perfume is. Thank you. Okay. You're very welcome, Mona. Um, I do feel like I'm shifting here. This is a great group. I like I like this group. <laughs> we like you too. <laughs> Thank you. A bunch of lovely women. Okay, let me see here. Um, okay. I do feel like I'm shifting here. Um, I 
I believe there's another male stepping forward. There's a lot of young males in this group that have passed. Um, let me see. I also feel a connection. Um, I want to talk about another connection, unfortunately, with the substances. I feel like I have another one stepping forward. Um, This one, I would say uh, either late teens, early 20s. I wouldn't say any older than 25. That sounds so weird for me to say I'm over 25 now. <laughs> I'm getting old. Um, <clears throat> but I would say that range, older teens, I would cap it at 25, somewhere in that area. Unfortunately, had a passing related with substances. I also feel... Um, this energy feels uh, positive to me. Um, um, I've never had a spirit show me this before, but I, whatever drug he was using, I would say was some kind of like stimulant. He feels very hyper to me. I feel like this was a part of his... The, unfortunately the drugs he was using i feel very kind of high and like you could tell like he he was very much exhibiting um like a stimulant kind of thing um i do feel there's there was a separation that happened between the two of you i don't know if he like moved like away or like there was a time that like the two of you um, like physically separated, but he's telling me that there's some guilt connected with the separation, some kind of physical separation. Like he's telling me like this person unfortunately has a lot of guilt tied to the separation. And I also feel this was, um, this young guy also had a lot of, um, I don't know how I want to kind of say it. This, this was someone who had a lot of dreams, but had a lot of trouble kind of doing things to like support his dream. Like I feel like he had these big ideas like, oh, I'm going to do something with my life. I'm going to be great. But he had a very hard time kind of following through or building up things for his life. I feel like, like Dustin, we have somebody that can take this. It's Rosemary. Oh, Rosemary? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds like my son. Okay. Do you, um, how do you connect with the separation? I, I That's very important. He keeps talking to me about this. Oh, Rosemary, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I think you're still muted. Yeah, you need to unmute. Yeah, could could you stay unmuted, Rosemary? I think I might be with you. Oh, I think she's having trouble. There I go. There I, go. Um, I, I can connect to that because prior to his passing, I set a boundary where I was no longer the yes mom. I was the no mom. I kind of had to do the tough love. And that literally happened um, about a month and a half before he passed. Okay. I'm so sorry, Rosemary. He wants me to validate that that's okay. I feel like he knew deep down, you know what I'm saying? But I don't feel like he acted out in a way that was very um, thankful. I don't feel like he was happy about this. Okay, and he does want to let you know that he does understand. You know what I'm saying? He does know about this. Um, I want to talk about... Um, I just... I'm so sorry to say this to you, but he's also someone who is just kind of so sure of himself. 
feel like he had this kind of this confidence, like, oh, I'm going to be fine, or oh, I got this, or like, oh, you know what I'm saying? There was kind of this this confidence about him. Do you know about this? Okay, I think okay. Anne Marie, I think. It was me and you. I'm sorry. But okay. Uh, my son is very, very confident. He had a lot of dreams and ambitions. He just didn't know how to go forth with them. Yes, this has got to be your son. He's describing himself very well. He's, um, I feel, um, I do feel him wanting to apologize. He says that he's sorry that he put you through this. I feel like he was always so like, I want to say a little bit cocky. <laughs> it's kind of borderline cocky. I, I'm going to be yeah. kind of blunt about this. Yeah. Because I feel like that just always put you through the ringer. You know what I'm saying? You were putting this situation after situation like, oh, here we go again. And yeah. like, he's taking responsibility for this. Yes. Okay? Yes. I want to talk about something with his hair. I don't know if you did something with his hair or you did, like, I feel you touching my hair. I don't understand what that means. Did you, like, do something with his hair? No, my son um, was bald because he couldn't grow his hair anymore. Well, he was receding hairline at a young age, and so he started to shave his head, but he always wanted to grow his hair out. And so we were discussing uh, the hair implants. Um, and I would always make fun of him because he misses so much. <laughs> okay, I don't know, was he like prepping it? I don't know if he had to put stuff on his head or something. I don't know how that works. I, don't know. I just feel him touching his head. I don't understand. He, you know, I don't know what he was doing towards the end. A lot of hats, he owned a lot of hats. Okay. I don't know what he was, I don't know what that bald stuff does, the prep work for all of that. I, I don't know, but he's telling me there's something about this. Um, I also feel, let's see. Uh, I think I might be going back a long ways back. I feel actually that there's, um, I feel that there's some kind of trophy that was kept of his. I don't know if he won some kind of trophy when he was very young and there's like a trophy that's kept. I see a trophy. <laughs> so I have all of my son's trophies when he did T-ball, but I have a certificate. It's not necessarily a trophy. I have a certificate that my son displayed. Um, when he was in high school, he was actually, um, sent away to go to like a, 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 like one of those classes for, for kids who get caught with alcohol or drugs and things oh. of that sort. And he completed this class. And when he was in, I think a sophomore year and he, that was his prized possession. And it was on display when he went to his house. He was very proud of this certificate. Mm -hmm. And when he passed, it's the one thing that I kept and I treasure. You still have, okay, I might be misinterpreting this. This might be a certificate. So it sounds like some kind of award, but he does say that he knows about this. Yeah. Okay. I also feel... Um, I feel actually, I think I'm still with you. He wants me to talk about his actual place of rest, like with his, uh, after he passed. I don't know if there was like uh, an argument or the family was kind of ha like, didn't know what to do. Do you know about this? I feel like there was like some debate or something about this. In regards to where he was, re where he was put to rest? Yes. Mm -hmm. that would that was me. I was having a hard time between burial and cremation. Um, okay. Cremation's what he wanted, but the thought of the process of how it happens was something that it was very difficult for me to accept. But then I could not accept him and not be 
being able to um, visit him every day um, and leaving, having to leave him in the middle of the night. So that was definitely a debate for me. Okay. He says that you made the correct decision. So I hope you know that he was with you in that moment. He says that he's okay. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah, I, I, I gave him his wish and I was actually present during the cremation, which was very hard for me. But, you know, I always said that I was that mother that was there for the first breath and I would be there to the very, very end. And so that was a decision I made for myself. Okay. Well, he says that he was with you and that he is very happy about this decision. So I hope you know that this this was a good decision for him. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad he's happy with that. Okay. He also says, um, I know that there was a dog earlier that he's actually got a cat. There's a cat that's passed. And I feel like, yeah, this one's like brownish tannish. Where does the brownish tannish cat come in that's departed? Um, his grandmother had a lot of cats and the cat that you're was his favorite cat when he was younger that did pass away. Ah, oh, he says that he's got this cat with him. <laughs> I hope you know that. I get a lot of animals, so I, I, don't, I don't know if everyone knows this, but I lost my favorite cat, my closest companion, about three months ago. So I know how much it hurts when animals pass. But, um, but I've been connecting a lot more with animals since Jet has crossed over. Aww. There's, um, let's see. I also feel this is going to sound kind of random. I don't know if you're doing something with like a bed. He shows me a bed. I don't know if you're getting like a new bed or something, or you're moving like a bed or something. He shows me doing something with like a bed. I don't know what that is. Um, maybe couches. We're getting new couches next weekend or picking them up. Okay. Are they like, do people sleep on them or something? Or I have, well, currently I have a, a couch that has one of those pull out beds. Um, oh. and, and only my son had ever slept on it um, in all the years that I've had it. But it's kind of, um, you know, they're brown. And I was just saying that I need a new change, that I need to bring up my living so room. So this, this couch was the only couch th that your son that's departed has slept on, or he was the only one that was, and you're getting rid of it, it sounds like, or you're doing something with it? Yeah, yeah. He says that he sees that, okay? okay. And I feel that this is okay with him. Yeah, it's- So I it's hope you know. Yeah, so I know that, that you know, some people have a hard time with physical items that remind them of their loved ones, but your son is coming forward to let you know that that's okay. Okay, yeah, and then and then his bed, um, I wanted to keep, um, but my daughter wouldn't let me because I'm paying to everything, telling me it's unhealthy, so that I was having a hard time with his bed, and how okay. do I go about that? Okay, I actually think he's talking about the couch, like present tense. I actually think he's talking about what's going on now. Okay. So I, I feel this happening with, with the pull-out bed couch thing. Let's see here. I also feel, let's see. He says, I think I'm with you. He says that you're doing something with your nails. Are you like getting your <laughs> nails done or something? Are you yeah, I, uh, I had an attack yesterday and I kind of, ripped them off and so I'm like um yeah I need to redo them <laughs> he says that he's gonna be with you when you're doing the nails so. <laughs> yeah I, I raised him on like pedicures like I always took him with me people used to think it was funny when he would come because he's you know a big boy but he loved being pampered like he he did his uh, he did his mask and <laughs> uh, I totally understand that I go with my mom to we get our nails done together too so <laughs> people give us looks too they're like what I'm like what's going on here but I hope you know that your son is around and he sees what's happening 
I'm glad because I'm always trying to look for some validation. I'm always feeling he's not around me. Oh, well, he sees what's going on. So, okay, Rosemary. Well, thank you. I do feel like I'm shifting, so thank I do hope you know he is with you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see here. Um, I want to do a check-in. Did anyone? find out anything about the young female that's departed. I don't know if anybody knows anything about that or if anybody like checked with someone. I want to do like just a quick check in. Anne-Marie, do you see anybody? Because I still feel that young soul. Oh, wow. Um, anybody? No? No. Hmm. I don't know. She's got to belong to somebody. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I still feel her around. Okay. Well, if nobody is claiming her, I'm going to move forward. Okay. Uh, okay, I believe I have another male here that's departed. I feel a son, but this one is actually a little older. This is not a younger male. I want to say maybe 30s, 40s. Like he doesn't feel under 30 to me. I would say 30s, 40s. Um, I feel this man used to work a lot with his hands. I don't know if he like used to like build things or like put things together, but he did some kind of work with his hands. Um, I also feel um, this was like just a very hardworking man. I feel like he was always kind of doing stuff, keeping busy. This this guy liked to stay busy. Um, there's uh, I also feel there was some kind of um, family situation. I believe with a piece of property. I don't know if this was like his actual like house or like property. There was something going on with his property. I actually feel a little bit of family drama about this property. I don't know if somebody wanted to do one thing and then somebody else wanted to do another. There was something going on with this property, some kind of property situation. Right. Um, Can you take that? Does that sound like Jeremy to me? Also Karen. Um... Karen's son was a couple people. I mean, this guy's 30s, 40s, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so there's like possibly two people that that sounds like. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me work with him a little bit more. Let's see. Um, I also feel this is kind of random. I actually feel. There was some kind of water flood or water damage or something. I, that sounds so bizarre. I've never had a spirit tell me this before. But something with some kind of oh. water problem. Yeah, that might Brand. be me. Yeah, it's Jeremy. That's so random. I've, in all my years of working, I've never had a spirit tell me water problems. Oh, my, <laughs> what I just got the chills. <laughs> Yes, Karen. I think Karen. Um, I don't. I don't know about the. Go ahead. Well, it's not a son. Water this thing. is. Is that you? I, is it someone else? My son lived on an island, and he had flooding problems all the time. That and doesn't like... he have a property problem now, or there's something with the property? Well, does he have property? Yeah. So there's two. Okay, who am I with again? I'm, I don't. You have two. You have Karen and you have Bren. Okay, well, all of these things should fit. And this man also worked with his hands. He did something with his yeah. hands. And he was a hard worker. 
Yeah, that so definitely that. was, but it's not a son. That was my husband. Uh, this feels like a son to me. I don't think I'm with you, Bryn. I think I might be with, um, who is the other lady? Karen. 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 I think I might be with you, Karen. Oh, I don't see Karen. Karen, are you, are you there? Yep, I can, I can pin her. Oh, OK. I couldn't see her. Could you pin her? Yeah. <laughs> I don't I'll know how her. that works. <laughs> I'm like the only millennial that has problems with technology. Can you see now? Um, can you yeah, I can see now. Um, okay, so how do you how do you connect with um, with the working with the hands? I don't know if he like used to fix a lot of stuff or he like built stuff. Yes, both. He could fix anything, and he was always fiddling. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like your son. Let me work he, with him a little bit more. Like Tinker, you know, and he could fix anything. Very mechanically minded. Okay, this sounds like your son. Um, I do want to talk about the property a little bit here. So um, I don't understand. I feel like um, I feel there's like debate about kind of what to do with the property. I don't know if there's like some family wanting to do like one thing and then there's somebody else wanting to do another. I feel like there's talk about possibly i do want to talk about selling maybe i don't know if they're talking about selling this property or someone's wanting to sell this yeah he had a house and um okay. the idea is to sell it and then divide up the proceeds between um his brother and his half brother and we're all good with that i'm good with that that's okay with me so there's there could be disputing on the other side of the family, you know, but not me. <laughs> okay, well, that's great, because I actually feel a positive connection with the selling. I actually feel he's wanting this to kind of spread out. Um, I also feel a positive connection with the brother. So do you know, if the, were they pretty close? Do you know? I feel a connection here. Yes, Kyle, his, Kyle's his... Um, full brother with me. Joey was my firstborn, and then Kyle. Then he has a half brother. Okay, I do feel a connection here. I do feel like he um, is connected with with this brother that's uh, involved with the property or the division of the property. He's mm -hmm. telling me that this is positive. Um, I also I don't know who this is. I want to talk about. Um, I don't always get names, but sometimes I get the start of them. I want to talk about, I believe, a Joe or Joseph. Who's Joe or Joseph? That's my son. He's Joey. Oh, his name. Oh, his He's... name is Joey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. He's validating himself. That's him. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, that's pretty specific. Um, I also want to talk about. Um, I don't know if he's talking about himself or you. Where does the connection to the state of Florida come in? I don't know if like somebody like went there or there was like a trip there. I see some connection to Florida. Yep, his dad's um, side of the family has a place down in Florida and he would go there. Oh, yep. perfect. Because I believe that he's telling me that he liked this. I see a positive connection to the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. I do feel like he enjoyed going down there with, with his father. Um, let's see here. Uh, I feel that you connect with him. Do you actually talk to him? I feel like you communicate with him. Yeah, every day. He says, he says that he hears you. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope that you know that. Um, I also feel, I actually feel you've heard his voice since he's passed. Have you like heard his voice? Yes, I have. He says you're not going crazy. He says okay. that that's real. Okay. One, one night I had a dream and we were on the phone and it was like so real, like talking with you right now that it, 
we had a conversation and he said he was good and everything was great. And, and then it, it hit me that, you know, but you're not here. Wait a minute. And he said, no, I'm just letting you know that I tried a telephone because I thought maybe the electromagnetic connection would work and you'd hear me. I heard his voice loud and clear. And I, it made me wake up to the point where I was expecting him to be there, you know? Oh. Well, I hope you know that that was real. He says that you've heard his actual voice. So, I mean, that's a pretty strong validation. So I hope you know that that, that was a real experience. Nice. Good. I also wanted, this is going to sound so random. Um, <laughs> sometimes they show me super random things and that's okay. I actually feel I want to talk about a Christmas ornament, some kind of ornament. Like, I don't know if there's one like in memory of him or there's like a Christmas ornament that like reminds you of him. I want to talk about a Christmas ornament. I have a whole box full. Of Christmas oh ornaments with his and um and yeah. <laughs> wow, he says that he knows about this. <laughs> I actually feel a pretty strong connection to this. He says that he <laughs> sees that. Let me see here. Um let me see. Um okay. I want to talk about, um, I feel, oh, I'm kind of going back and forth with him about this. Um, I feel like he's talking to me. Um, I see an older gentleman that's with him. I think this is a family member. Um, and this one, uh, there's a strong connection. Um, I, want, I think I want to talk about a special car. Who is like the older gentleman? I feel like this is a father figure. I don't know if this is father or grandfather with the car connection that's departed that's with him. I feel like a very strong car with him. Uh, is it his car or does the car belong to somebody else? Um, I, am, I feel he's talking to me about the father figure being connected with the car. So I don't, if it's his car, it would have had to have gone, you know what I'm saying, to like the father figure, but I feel something, there's a father figure, but I also feel that this gentleman has passed. So I don't know how that would totally connect, but I feel the car with the father figure that's passed. Could it be um, his grandpa he had like an old El Camino that he gave to Joey's cousin and they used to joke yeah, about no. That would be a strong connection to like a special car. Yeah. 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 Um, it was like. Has, do you know if that gentleman has passed? His grandpa has passed. Yes. I do feel the two of them together. Oh, are you still there? Yep. I would imagine. Yep. Okay, so he wants me to validate this. He's with the grandfather with the car. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, like the car was very important to him. Okay. <laughs> um, it was a very special car. Um, he didn't get the car though. <laughs> no, but, but the grandfather liked this car. Yes. Um, Good. I also feel the grandfather, unfortunately, I see a connection with smoking. Do you know if the grandfather used to like smoke or like he was like around smoke? I see smoking. Um, not to my knowledge. My father smoked at one point and he's deceased. Um, 
Oh, your your. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that last part. Zoom is kind of breaking up for me a little okay. bit okay. here, um, mm -hmm. but I can hear you. I was having a hard time kind of seeing. But um, oh. I, did you say your father has passed? Yes, and he smoked. Okay. And he was the smoker. I actually feel he might be talking about your father now. So this is his different grandfather's other one. Yeah, my my father. He's been gone a long time. Oh, different grandfather. Okay. I yeah. also feel this one with him, the one that was smoking. Yes, I would imagine. Okay, I feel the two of them. He's got both of these grandfathers. Um, I um now yours was yours the one that used to tell jokes. There's one of them telling jokes to me. Yeah, he might. Yeah, he might. He was pretty oh. entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this was like the person that would tell like stories or like tell like jokes. <laughs> like, like he Okay, because he's talking. Oh, my cat is just coming out. I got a new cat uh, last week. <laughs> she oh, just is. came in. The um, oh, we, love, we love cats. That's why the cat came. Oh, in. oh my God. She, yeah, she hasn't come in at all until just now. I just got her last week. But, Joey um, told me in. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so sweet. Um, I usually see this with women, but your son is actually telling me there's a connection to a necklace. I feel like I'm back with your son. Do you know if there's like a necklace in memory of him or someone has like a necklace that's connected with him? I feel a necklace. Um, not that I'm aware of. Okay, I had gonna... a for him a long time ago, but I still have it. I know he I... didn't take I'm, could you say that again? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I have a necklace that I bought for him years ago, but he did not take it with him. So I still have that necklace. That, that would be the necklace. So that's okay. a necklace that's connected with him that you have. Mm -hmm. He says that he knows about that. Okay. Okay, I do feel that he knows about this necklace. Um, I also feel, I feel that there's a physical photo of him, and he tells me that you actually touch this photo. Is there like a photo of him that you have, and you like actually like touch it or like hold it? I feel like you physically interact with this photo. Yep, sometimes. He says that he also sees that. Okay, I hope you know that he's with you in those moments. He says that he's he's with you at that time. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, I do want to let kind of move forward here. Your son could keep talking, okay? <laughs> I believe that. He, he did like to talk. Um, I do feel like he enjoyed co conversation. Uh, but I hope you know that he is with you. But I do want to see if maybe we have time for maybe one more um, okay. person that thank might you. be able to step forward. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Also, Dustin, um, Dawn reminded me that indeed the young girl and her brother is another member of ours, her son and daughter on the other side. And the daughter, although she was a little bit older, she looked like she was five because she was very, very, very small. Mm, okay. She had so that breathing problems, she had um, feeding problems, she was disabled, the little girl. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. This, uh, she specifically told me a big thing with eating. Big. Thing. I mean, that, that was a big thing with her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do feel like she's here. Are, are you in contact with that mom or is she around? Yeah, we can show her this. Sure. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Could you let her know that she is here? Um, let me see if I can find her too, if you want to begin. And there's also a connection to a Mary or Marie with that young girl. I don't know who Mary or Marie is, but there's a connection to a Mary or Marie. Mm. So you're going to have to ask the mom about that, but there's also a connection to a Mary or Marie. She's pretty strong here. I don't know. Has she been, that mom, has she connected with her before? She has. 
Okay, yeah, she's coming through strong. She's got more to say. <laughs> and he was nonverbal in life, so that's probably why. Oh, that's interesting. All right. I do feel like I'm shifting here. I want to at least bring one more here. I, I hope we have time for that. Oh, let me see. 926. Okay. I know. I don't know what's happening with my computer. I'm having, I can't see anybody. Anne Marie, you're going to have to read my eyes. So you can't see <laughs> anybody at all? No, my okay. computer's acting weird. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I think it's the energy. Um, okay, I do feel like I'm shifting. Let's see. Um, I want to talk about. Um, I actually, I, I don't have a child. I actually have, I believe, a male partner that's departed, that's stepping forward here. This feels like a male romantic partner. I feel a love connection. This, this is a male that. That would have been romantic with you at some point in time. Um, let's see here. This man was very solid, very grounded, very practical man. I feel my feet firmly on the ground. This was a very down to earth kind of gentleman. Um, very protective. He was, I feel he was a little kind of old school. I mean, this was very much a guy who was like going to like protect the family, like look out for the family. Like this was a very kind of. Um, very protective kind of man. Um, his personality, I want to say, is mostly positive. However, I know at times this man could be pretty stubborn. And I actually feel there was a time that he and a, one of the children um, we're not getting along. I actually feel there was a time one of the kids and him were uh, not speaking or not talking. Um, there, there was kind of some drama here with with one of the children. Um, let me see here. I do feel though. Uh, I mean, this was a pretty strong relationship between the two of you. Um, let me see. I also feel um, this was also a man who used to do some kind of volunteer work. I, he like did some kind of volunteering or some kind of community work at a point in his life. I don't know what kind of volunteering or community work, but he did something with the community, so, something that was very important to him. I don't know what this is, but I feel all of this with the same gentleman. This feels like a romantic partner that's that's departed. Um, I can't see Anne Marie, so you're going to have to help me with this. But I feel all this with the same gentleman. Okay. Can anybody relate to that? I mean, maybe like me, but not like the volunteer. I don't know that he volunteered ever. I mean, I it may have been before he met me, but. That's Bryn. Bryn, okay, Bryn, I can't see you, but I can, I'm gonna have to rely on my sense of sound, okay? <laughs> I don't know what's happening with Zoom, but I can hear you. Um, I actually feel, uh, I don't know if this is something he used to do or he's talking about you. I also feel a connection with a church. I don't know if you're doing something with a church or like yeah. there was a church. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, well, how do you connect with the church? That's He's telling me about um, this. So we go to this Soul City Church and I just um, signed up to run the marathon to raise money for um, Team World Vision in Africa. And I don't, wow. I'm, not a run, I'm not a runner, and I just felt like it was something I had to do, and they talked about it at church, and I just happened to be wearing this orange sweater that day, and, like, I just couldn't stop crying throughout the service, and, like, the color of the organization is orange, and I just had this strong, like, my intuition was, like, wear the orange sweater to church, 
And I had like no plans of ever wanting to run a marathon. And for some reason, I've been like waking up early and running this week, which is like, I'm like, was that kid that had asthma and an excuse from the doctor to not run oh at, my goodness. at a gym class? So mm-hmm. that, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, he's very aware of this. Um, <laughs> I actually feel a positive connection with this. I do feel that this is going to be a positive experience. Okay. Cool. So, <laughs> it does look good to me. Um, now this is a, a romantic partner that's departed, correct? I mean, this yeah, feels like so a Yeah, so it was my husband. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This, this, I was going to have to validate that. I want to make sure. Um, I do feel I want to explore the the something happening with the child. So I don't was he not talking with a child for a while or something? There's something about um, this. He's telling me this well, trauma. He had a uh, yeah. That was like the one thing that he wanted to resolve before he passed. That wasn't resolved. Is he had a a hard relationship with our son who has autism. And he had a, he was very, very hard on him and had a hard time um, accepting like some of his quirks and things. Um, So that's kind of like the one um, piece of business or relationship that uh, he didn't repair. He wants me to talk about this. Now, are you still, um, I don't know. Are you still in contact? Like, is their son still here or you're still connected yeah, with him? Yeah, he's alive. Yeah, it's my He's still alive? Son. Okay. Yeah. He's I was a little worried him. about that. I was like, he's telling me oh. he's alive, but I also know this is a support group for moms. So no, <laughs> I was so like, I'm going to trust him. Okay. So Doris is um, my mom's best friend and, and a friend of I mine know. and like a mother figure to me and a friend to me. And, you know, okay. Doris lost her daughter and I lost my husband kind of around the same time. And so she invited okay. me to come. Okay, perfect. Because I was taking a big risk there. I'm like, he's telling me he's alive, yeah. but yeah. I know that this is a group for yeah. women who've lost it. Okay. I do feel he is around him. I feel um, that he is helping your son from the other side. So I hope you know that he is supporting him. Okay. And I also feel uh, your son, I don't know. um, I feel something with writing with your son. I don't know if your son is like working on writing or he's starting to write or something. I see him doing something with writing. He draws profusely all day long. He literally literally goes through like reams of blank um, paper and draws just like draws characters he like draws art okay i would actually work with him a little bit with i actually think you can get him to work with writing so i don't know if he's thought about writing i know you say he's good at drawing i actually feel him talking to me about possibly writing with your son well he needs to work on his writing that's definitely true I feel that he's going to be getting better at that. Okay, mm-hmm. I do feel this. And I, my brother also has autism. So I know how much of a challenge that can be at times. But I do feel that uh, he's going to be working with him on the writing. Okay, I do see this. I also feel, um, let me see here. There's something Uh, let me see. Um, I believe he's talking to me. Uh, this is going to sound, I promise this isn't creepy. <laughs> this may come out a little wrong, but I have to validate, okay? He actually tells me that he comes around you um, I feel like uh, when you're like, I don't know if you're like, uh, when you, if you're taking like baths or like the shower or something, but he tells me that he actually connects with you when you're like uh, something about in the bathroom. Or like, I don't know if you like have taken baths or something. 
if that's something that you're doing or something, but I actually feel he connects with you when you're kind of in this relaxed kind of state. I don't know. I mean, I mostly take showers, but I've been wanting to take more baths and I bought like bubble baths recently <laughs> to like get my ass to just relax and take a bath. Cause I like, I work all the time and I'm just trying to like mm -hmm. hold it down. And so maybe I should take a bath. He, I he actually should take feel, a lot of baths. Yeah. I actually feel he'll be connecting with you when you're taking baths. I feel like it's something about when you're in that relaxed kind of state okay. that he's going to be able to, to present himself. Okay. Okay, so you're going to have to remember that I said this. Okay, thank you. Okay. I do feel that he'll be doing this. I also feel, um, let's see here. Um, I feel like I want to talk about, uh, I don't know who this is connected with him. I feel like I'm still with the same person. I want to talk about, I believe, a Terry or Teresa. Yeah, that's his it's dad, like a, Terry. His dad is Terry. Oh, yeah. his father is Terry? Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. There's... Um, let me see. I feel there's... Um... I also feel, unfortunately, there was some kind of separation that happened with his father. This is interesting. Yep. What happened with his father? I, do they not always get along well? I feel there was a separation. Yeah, definitely. Um, his parents divorced when he was like eight or 10. And um, his his dad used to just like on the weekends when he had him over, he would just like make him do all this work. And then, so he decided that he didn't want to, you know, do those visits anymore. And then his dad was just, he was a cop. And the only time he ever showed up to any of his like football games or anything was um, when he was working an overtime shift as a cop. So that's the only time he ever, and he was like this, a great athlete. And his dad only saw one game when he was working his job. I'm so um, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. He does talk about his father and I feel I feel a lot of feelings with your husband because I feel sadness with his father and I also feel sadness with your guys' son. And I feel that I just feel that uh, there is a lot of regret with him. And I, I just feel very strongly that he's going to be supporting your son. I mean, I feel like he's going to make an active effort to really try and connect with him. There's... Uh, He also says to thank you for calling him out on his bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, but um, <laughs> I feel like you would call him out when he wasn't always being, you know, the best kind of kind of dad or person. Yep, that is very. He good. says to thank you for that. I don't think there's a lot of people that that he would do that for him. But he says to thank you for that, for trying to get him to be a better, a better man. My closet. Um, let's see. I also feel. He also says to tell you, and I, I hope I'm not getting too personal, Bryn, so let me know oh, if this, fine. I know we're in a group setting. It's all good. Okay. It's all good. I do have to validate this. 
He says to tell you that you are being supported. I don't know if there are times that you don't feel like you have a lot of people around you or you feel kind of alone, but he says to tell you you need to know that you are being supported. Are you, sure are you still that. there? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, I, I believe that definitely. Yeah. Okay. So I do hope you know that he is around. He's, he's very aware of this. Okay, but I do think I'm shifting here. So I hope you know he is with you, but I feel like I'm shifting. Thank you. So please know he is around and, and is aware of that. Um, how are we doing on time? Okay, we have. I think I have time for maybe one more. I'm gonna try to be kind of quick about this because I do want to give people a chance for Q and A. Okay. Uh, but Anne Marie, is it all right if, if maybe I try to make one more? Sure. Sure. Okay, yeah. let me try to be quick about this, but I'm going to try to bring through one more person. Um, okay. I want to talk about... Um, Okay. Um, okay. I believe I actually have uh, this feels like um, I actually feel like I think I have someone's mom stepping forward. I'm going to try to be pretty quick with her. I want to try to get as much as I can pretty quickly. I want to talk about, unfortunately, a medical procedure that I actually feel, unfortunately, led to uh, either the actual passing or complications around her passing. Uh, I feel this, this medical procedure. And I also feel, um, I feel some guilt attached to this. Like the family still feels like, I don't know if we made the right decision, uh, but I feel very much this, this kind of this medical procedure. But this feels like a mom figure to me. Um, I do feel this lady's, uh, um, I actually feel that this woman was pretty tough. She was a pretty strong female, this uh, very strong lady. Um, I want to talk, like, she is positive. I feel this, um, this positive, but this was a tough kind of lady. I mean, this woman has been through some things and, and still kind of moved forward. This was a strong, but there's a big thing about this medical thing. So I don't know who I'm with, but there's there's a big thing about this medical procedure that didn't go very well. This this was really not good. That could be my mom. Oh. Um, yeah, she had a huge procedure that didn't go well. Okay. Do you, was the family still feel kind of guilty about this, or they're not sure if they should have kind of? Well, she was in the hospital when she did pass and we had just left there and got home. And so I always felt kind of guilty. Why didn't I just stay around five more minutes, 10 more minutes? But, you know, we didn't do anything. She went on her own. Okay. I feel it. But the, she feels like a strong kind of woman. I mean, does the personality fit? This was a strong lady. I would say positive, but this was this was a tough, <laughs> this was a tough woman. Yeah. Okay. This <laughs> might be your mom. <laughs> Let me work with her a little bit here. That's so crazy. I promise we didn't set this up. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't talk about this ahead of time, I swear. That is um, so funny. 
this does feel like a positive connection. <laughs> but I'm going to be kind of honest with you here. Yeah. Your mom tells me that she wishes she would have, um, oh, how do I want to phrase this? Kind of, I don't know how you're going to take this, but I'm going to have to be a little blunt here. She tells me she wishes she would have understood you a little more. Yeah. I feel like she was supportive and positive, but she didn't always take the time to really kind of understand you or, or totally maybe know you to the right. degree that you might have wanted. Right, right. My sister was her favorite. Okay. She says that she's sorry about that. Aww. Okay, because she does say that you are... Um, I do feel that she is interested in you now a little more than she might have been when she was here. She, she is around you. She also says, um, I believe she's talking about the business. What, was she still here when there, you were like doing a business or something? Yes. Yeah. She says she's also sorry about this. I don't feel like she totally was was with you with the business or she right. didn't quite get it. She says that she's sorry about this. She says that she really supports you now with your business. Oh, well, thank you. So I do hope you know that she is around. Yes, apparently. <laughs> 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 I wasn't expecting to read you tonight. Um, <laughs> but I wasn't she, expecting she, it either. <laughs> she is stepping forward um, to take this. But Anne Marie, I do want to give people a chance for Q and A. But I hope you know that your mom is here. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Um, so I, I do want to stay on at least till ten. Yeah. Um, so that's the next 12 minutes so i do want to let people ask questions you know if you have a question for me or for the process um you know i want to be able to take those so uh let me know you know i can't see anybody so Anne Marie, you're gonna have oh, to help me with this. okay so who has a question for dustin <laughs> or hey. doris you can help me too. peggy there i she don't have, yeah hi um i don't have any questions even though I didn't get read, I think you are utterly amazing. And I thank you so much for doing this for us. That's all. Uh, I just welcome. think you're fantastic. You. And I enjoyed every minute of listening to you. Oh, uh, thank you. You are so sweet. <laughs> no, you so are. <laughs> That's thank all. you. I just wanted to thank you. It's very kind. Uh, Bren has a question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you again for being here. Um, I was just curious if there was anything um, with my husband and my daughter, um, any kind of messages or things. Um, so, Brent, I'm going to be honest. I did. I did just close the door, okay. so I'm not, okay. I, I'm not able oh, to reconnect. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I did. I just kind of closed off. I'm. I'm okay. done doing readings for this evening. Um, but I mean, if you booked a private session with me or another medium, I'm sure that they, they'd be able to do that. Cool. Do So, I mean, I could be here all night with you. I'm so into it and I think you're amazing and awesome. And I'm like, so into it. Um, oh, thank you. I wish every reading was as good as tonight. I feel like yes. I was on my A game tonight. So. Yes, you are absolutely is incredible. Um, so is, are they often wanting to come through just to like let people know that they're there and at peace or, or do they usually give like a lot of other messages or like advice or is it mostly just like letting us know that they're here and that they're at peace? It is. There are, I have given up trying to kind of say most messages are like this or like that. I have delivered so many messages that I don't even know all of them. <laughs> so, I mean, I've delivered messages I don't even understand, but the client says that they understand. I've delivered messages I don't agree with. That the spirits want me to say that I don't personally agree with, but I'm still gonna deliver the message that they want. 
Um, so, I mean, it's really, it can be so many possibilities. Sometimes it is to say, you know, I'm with you. Other times it's very specific, like the woman earlier who has like an investigation going on. I mean, I have done readings for um, the police, so private detectives, um, you know, I mean, I've, I have been involved in so many things um, that I've just surrendered to the process. <laughs> And I'm like, spirit, take the wheel, you know. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't even know what's going to happen, but I'm going to be the one that just says whatever I feel. So I don't know if that helps to answer. Um, yeah, it does. That's very cool. Thank you. And I, yeah, it's. I'm oh. sorry to interrupt, but even a couple of times you said, I've never had a spirit say this to me tonight. There was like mm -hmm. two or three times that you said that. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Every time I connect, there's usually something new that comes up that I don't always know what it means, but I pray that the sitter knows what it means. I'm like, please understand. Because um, I don't always know what they're communicating. I know what I'm seeing or what I'm feeling, right. but I don't always know what that means or what, what, you know, what that's about. Awesome. Who has another question for Dustin? Oh, and it's okay. It can be as random as you want it to be. I'm, I'm totally open. I'm an extremely open person. Yeah. Ask away. Ask anything, except specifically for a reading. <laughs> yeah, I've, 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 that's over. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> real quick. Yeah. Um, how do you get, how do I secure a reading with you if I want? I put him in the chat. I put his... Um, his website in there you can book okay. it right on there okay yeah, so, so i do have a waiting list there is i think i'm booked out about a month or two out um but I, there's still appointments available yeah i'm not uh, surprised for group readings that. for group readings i am taking those uh those are case by case so if you are um like wanting like a group of women or, or family or something like five um those i can usually get scheduled in quicker and i handle those personally so if I do groups online or in person now because of the governor. I'm, self, has fun I'm selfish. I'm selfish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's okay. So yeah, you can go on there and there, there are appointments available. So. Okay. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Rosemary. <clears throat> oh, are you unmuted now? Yes. Okay, good. I just have a curious question. Does, does spirits feel our pain? Does like my son feel my pain when I'm really, really in my depressive mood? So spirits do feel emotions. Mm -hmm. do feel it's a little them. different than, than maybe we feel them. So it might not be as heavy, but um, you know, spirits intelligent. I mean, they they are intelligent beings. I mean, they, you know, they do feel what we feel. I was once told that the more grief you have or the deeper grief you have, you kind of stop them from getting their wings. Is that true? Could you say that again? I'm sorry, I'm hearing some background noise. I'm... She's saying, was... okay, go ahead. No, I was once told that if you're in a really deep grief, really deep grief, that it stops them from getting their wings. From getting their wings. I, I don't know about that. Yeah, I can tell you when it comes to messages, that that is true. So if there's a sitter that's, you know, experiencing depression or extreme grief, they are not going to be able to receive a, a good reading, right? I mean, they're not in a healthy frame of mind to be able to receive messages from their loved ones. But I don't know about the wings. I can't confirm or deny that. <laughs> She says, good, thumbs up. <laughs> okay. All right, I think we have time for maybe a couple more. So any question is is fine. So none is, you're not going to offend me. Oh, Marlene. Can you unmute, Marlene? Thank you very much. It's been wonderful. You have a great sense of humor. Uh, I had fun. And just to make a comment on your last comment, I um I felt like there wasn't love in my heart, like there should be. And once I let that feeling go and the love came back in, 
all the messages were everywhere around. Where, whereas I felt like I'd lost my son for a while. So the, I think that, you, you know, an open heart and and a happy heart, maybe not happy, but not sad, <laughs> does make a difference. But thank you, we're, you were very informative. Thank you, Marlene. Yeah, that, there's a lot behind that. So um, yeah, I would say, you know, you have to be in a in a receiving frame of mind, right, to be able to receive messages. I mean, I've had sitters that come in and they're just completely closed off or they only want to talk to one person and they only want to hear that one thing from that one person and they're not open to receiving anything. And so obviously I'm not going to read for that person. It, it offends me when someone like that comes in. You know, I am offended. So I will tell them you are not open to the process. <laughs> I'm like, please don't come back. <laughs> you know, don't, don't go anywhere else either. You know, until you're open to it. <laughs> like, I, I'm not trying to be mean, but like, I don't know how someone like that is going to be open to receiving messages. I just don't know how that's going to happen. I mean, um, right. I hope. I hope we were good sitters. Oh yeah, this is a great group. I've had so much fun with you. Um, I really have. This has been a great group of people. Oh, thank you. I mean, we, we've had a great time with you. We're so grateful for your time too. Oh, I, and you. I think I, I feel like I've known you forever. There's just <laughs> yes. the strangest thing. Um, <laughs> like I've met you before or talked to you before. And I know I haven't besides the one time. I think Anne Marie, it's his energy. Yeah. He has <laughs> phenomenal energy. Uh, thank you very much. It's very kind. I do believe in reincarnation. I believe in spiritual connection. So I completely believe that that is entirely possible. I believe so too. And if my mom trusts you, I'm like, <laughs> I was surprised to see step forward. I was like, I did not think this was going to be your mom. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay, I'm going to just roll with this. I'll have to look um, back at the video. At first, I was like, hmm, that sounds like my mom. <laughs> uh -huh. That happens a lot. A lot of times I, I do these kinds of events, and the host, you know, never thinks they're going to get read. And it, it happens very often, almost every time. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. And I never think it's going to happen. But as I sit here and I reflect back, it happens pretty often. I don't know why, but it's something about it. Yeah, they're just drawn to you. What can we say? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty good with people, both living and dead, with or without bodies. So I do invite spirit, and, and you know, nice. so I do think that's that's why, you know. But I love doing this. I love being able to connect people with people. It's really a privilege oh. to do. Let's do it again sometime if you're open. <laughs> For sure. I think we have time for maybe one or two more. Does anyone else have like a burning question or something? Rosemary, do you have another question? Oh, Sharon has one. Okay. I don't really have a question, but I do want to say thank you from my heart. I mean, you are just awesome. And I'm so happy I was able to attend. Ah, uh, thank you, Sharon. <laughs> Girl, so sweet. I wish I could take you all to like every every group reading I do just for support. I'm like, oh, I'm so supported. I I can do no wrong. I'm gonna be great. You know, I like. Okay, we'll go. <laughs> it's so it's so anxiety producing every time. You never know what's going to happen. There's no way to prepare. You just show up and trust that spirits are. You know, it's really it's it can be uh it can be a challenge at times. I bet. How many how many come around at once? Like, is it like when you talk about stepping forward? Um, are there others like around them or like what? So it feels like a collective energy to me when I first connect. I feel like it feels like several people. It's really hard for me to describe, but it feels like a room of people. And then they kind of sort themselves out at least that's how it feels for me and then I feel the individual 
So it's it starts with like a group. It's kind of like a group energy. Like it's very, it's, I don't know how else to describe it other than maybe like a room full of people for a second or two. And then I start to feel sensations from the individual. I don't know. It is interesting, and it's hard to describe, <laughs> but it happens for only a couple of seconds. It's a very strange sensation. When the animals come through, what are you? Are they like playing with the animal, or what? What? So I connect with animals. Sometimes oh just animals. There are people who call me because their dog was like their best friend, and they only want to connect with their dog. And um, that has happened. I've connected with lots of animals. I've had dogs, cats, horses, lizards. I had a cow. <laughs> I had a fish. Um, I had a ferret. A woman called me. I will never forget this. A woman called me, booked an entire reading because she wanted to connect to her ferret. And so I didn't get ferret right away. I was like, I don't know if this is like a cat. I know it's an animal. It's like sort of like a cat. I won't ever forget this. And I said that I felt that my lungs were filling with fluid. Well, she this was like her favorite animal in the whole world, this ferret. And she locked, or he, she accidentally left her ferret in the laundry basket. And it died in the laundry, <gasps> in the washing machine. Oh, and she was felt so overwhelming grief and guilt. And she was just in such a, a not a good place. Um, and her ferret came through and I was like, what? She said, this is why I'm here. I said, oh my God, well, your ferret is like here. I thought it was like a cat. I said, it looks like a cat or something, but I won't ever forget that. So some people, animal lovers, yeah, they connect just for their animals. Oh, that's mm -hmm. awesome. I won't ever forget that reading. It was really powerful. Wow. I, washed, I washed a mouse one time that got in the laundry. <laughs> ew, ew. I was like, there's a mouse stepping forward. Now there would be a lot <laughs> to validate about that. I mean, usually it has to be like a spirit bringing the mouse or something. Unless there was a lot about the mouse that you could validate. I don't know. Oh, it wasn't a pet, but I am truly sorry. I mean, oh. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for having me tonight. I know we went a little over, um, and that's okay. But I had so much fun, um, and I hope you all know that your loved ones are with you. And thank you again for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. And um, what was the website again, Dustin? www. Um, it's my name. It's DustinLivers.com. Just DustinLivers.com. Okay. And we'll yep. post it in the group so that you have contact information also. Yep. Absolutely. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank everybody. you, Dustin. Appreciate it. Bye, everybody. You're welcome. You have a great night. Thank you.